Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Corky and this is episode 8 of Life After Last. So we're into the final stages. We have this month, two more months to follow and that is the end of our three season run. Uh, we have had only four games to play this month. Um, we started off with Bournemouth. Um, we will show you the highlights now. So we, as mentioned there, we started off with Bournemouth. We've come away there with a 2-0 victory. At home, we'll show you the goals here very quickly. Jamie Tart once again on the score sheet. Sharon Durr scoring his first goal. I'm not sure if it's his first goal of the season. It's definitely his first goal in a while. And we see the uh, Guido Rodriguez tries to play a ball through. It's not clear really well. Kind of Hughes picks up this ball, feeds it into Jamie Tart, and he does what he does best. And we see here, Richie brings the ball to the left, brings it back on his box. Guido Rodriguez is out again, finds Sharon Durr in the, the six yard box and he tucks it away for 2-0 the Champions League uh, quarter, uh, round of 16 draw was done we have been pulled against Real Madrid a little bit concerned about this initially we've actually come away here with a very good 2-2 draw um, as you'll see quite early on we went 1-0 down we came back to 2-1 we came back to one all. we went 2-1 down we pulled it back again All everything happened in the first half even a red card for Madrid, not much happened in the second half. Lovely ball from Valverde, and this one too. And he makes no mistake with an easy finish against the Zorro. Coming back on this one, so is down with the injury, probably not much of a surprise there. Hughes has a header, <coughs> can back off the crossbar. Jimmy Pitt is the closest man to the ball at the moment. It's a good goal. Lovely ball for the Ariyama here, and uh, Sandro Sani can't get back in time to the clear off the line, and it's 2 1 in Madrid. Sam over Sam over to the line, he finds Eric and uh, plays it towards the edge of the box. And Jeff Green is there to stroke at home with his weaker foot to make it to all. As mentioned, not really an awful lot happened in the second half. We were qu quite dominant throughout with 21 shots, 8 on target. They had 12 and 5. Um, as mentioned, Carvajal was sent off in the first half as well for his second booking. Um, so we've Got a, a good result there at home against Real Madrid. We followed that up with an excellent victory away to Arsenal. Uh, we did rest Jamie Tart for this one. Um, has played a lot of games and needs a little bit of rest. We put Danny Rojas up front and it's paid off massively with Rojas, as you see here, coming in, stealing the ball, making it one more within five minutes. Uh, late in, well, midway through the second half, we see Bender Cutson will find the ball in the darkness. Play the three, the Danny has in front of about 22, 23 yards out there. Actually, he draws it in the top corner. And McAdoo plays in the good road with this lovely ball over the top. Nice control from Danny has. Takes it away to make it 3 0 and secure the hat trick. That win did put us third in the league. We've opened a points gap now over Man City. We've played the same number of games. We do have a six point gap there. We also have a seven point gap over Arsenal, who do have a game in hand of us. But the most important thing is we're actually level on points now with uh, Liverpool, do have a game in hand, and we're only one point behind Chelsea, who also have a game in hand. Very important to remember those. Um, but we're in the mix now, so we are. We would love to see what ideally what we'd like to see is Chelsea playing against Liverpool in the next game, um, and for them to draw. But that's not, we know that's not going to happen. But the next game we're about to play is the second leg. We're away at the Bernabeu against Real Madrid. Um, we're going reverting back this defensive 4-3-3. Do have a few injury concerns. Uh, Gubin is out. We're going to bring uh, Caio Enrique in the left back. Sam Obasanya back in full fitness. McAdoo. Uh, Zuma actually will maybe change Zuma out for Garcia. Uh, we'll keep Guido in defensive midfield. Bomber catch returning from injury. Keep him in his fit. Uh, Kukoc is fit enough to play. Uh, looking at the bench, we do have a few players struggling. We'll maybe take Gubin out and give him a proper rest. So we do have uh, Dixon, Zuma, McDade for defence. We have uh, Sharon Durr, Dawkins for central midfield. We have Matty Cook, Dybala, Scott for the wings. We have Jan Mass and Rosenfeld on the bench as well. And of course, Danny Rojas. Danny Rojas played really well. Jamie Tart is also playing real well. I'm going to give it to Danny Rojas purely on the basis of that hat trick in the last game. Um, so here we go. We're at the Bernabeu. The last time we were there in the league phase, didn't quite go so well. We came away with quite a heavy defeat, 4 um, 1. Don't let our good run of form come to an end here. Uh, yeah, that, that seems fair. Um, I'm not expecting 
to go through really. It would be fantastic if we could manage to sneak a point even if we take the penalties. I'm not expecting to go through. But that's okay because we do have what has now turned into a pretty serious title challenge to contend with as well. So my focus really is kind of on that. In FM22 we did um, win the Champions League of course in our final season with Richmond, uh, which was a great achievement. It's not really what we're interested in this time. We want to win the league. The league, I think, we're prioritising the league a lot more. It's, I want to build Richmond. Once I resign, I want Richmond to be able to sustain that kind of level of um, kind of football. We have a chance there. Paul Hughes has a, a bit of a decent there for it's blocked, but, you know, less than a yard in front of him. Who's the up on the corner? It's clear. Who's the sensor? He clears it out when he gets put to his ball and the highlight comes to nothing. Con who's already struggling, so he is. Um, he's down on a 77% fitness. McAdoo brings the ball out from the back, finds Kukoc. Uh, Bumbercats, yeah, just he ran away from the ball. Basically, Bumbercats, it's the ball was behind him. There was no pain much attention. That's a good effort. But I think the sensu that was, it's going to just wide. So he brings the ball to the UK. Back inside the Eric Garcia is moving forward. Runs Hughes, plays it on two, hits it good. Uh, lovely ball to him, he gave up the left wing, uh, puts it back to Carl Hughes, finds Richie. Bumper catch is there, that's 1 0. 31 minutes in, we're 1 0 up, a really good round of ball. 3 2 0, let's get a replay. That's a lovely ball up there, again, great first control, first touch control. Thanks to Hughes, across to Richie, and just play it across basically the 18 yard line, really, around about 12 yards out. And then the catch tricks it on to the bottom left hand corner. So, a very, very good start. This is what we like to see. Our fitness levels are getting shot. My poor Sam, or Sam, yeah, McAdoo, somebody's injured. Good coach, that's been coming. He's not really fully fit. So, we will bring. Um, we'll bring the Bala in on the left. Oh, that's Jimmy Turk. That's a lot. Uh, I think. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. Still have a player injured on the pitch. Okay, well, let me go and change that. I think I've broke it. I've broke the game. <laughs> I have absolutely broke the game. This is going to go back to the... Yep. If I do that... And go back to there. Uh, I'm stuck in a loop of, of not being able to... So ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We have broke Football Manager at the previous attempt there. Whenever Kukoc got injured, uh, we brought in the wrong sub. We clicked cancel and we got stuck in this endless loop of... Coach Beard telling me we had a player to bring in and then we couldn't go back to the tactics screen. So, um, yeah, didn't work out too well. Um, so, the, luckily enough, the, the previous games um, weren't impacted, but we have lost that 1-0 uh, lead. Hopefully we can claw that back now as we go into the the, the, the replay, if you will, the, the restart. Um, so we'll go with the, the same team again, as far as I can remember. Um, so let's get the game underway. Kukoc, Magadou and uh, Colin Hughes are all struggling with fitness. That's fine. That's okay. We'll, we'll, we'll deal with that. So uh, we're on a great run. Let's keep it going. It's not the same team talk I gave them the first time. But it's fine. It'll be okay. Um, <clears throat> so hopefully we can uh, find the same form we were on uh, a few minutes ago before we break in the game. Uh, and again, this night, it's a ball, a sensor gets the ball, runs right on our left hand side. Smashes the ball, and he's put the other one on his own back. So he has, um, <clears throat> lads playing well, Colin Hughes struggling a little bit. Um, not much else is happening. Uh, very much all the action in the, the middle third. But Real Madrid starting to get a little bit of a foothold in the game. Um, Kelly and Ruggie taking his throw in. And we're crossing to the wall, and there's a box clear by Chimini. Uh, is that Eric Dyer playing at Real Madrid? That would be quite a shock. Vinny Junior is one on one here against Garcia. There's a attempt at a block there from, I think it was a block actually, from Sammy Bassania. 
Okay, Tim Sennett is a corner to Madrid. Sends to the up and in towards the back post. Secured by Kyle Hughes. Picked up by Anasus. Goes back across again. It's actually gone off by Vredic's hand. Come on. It's a demand here. Uh, Rene Junior picks up the ball. Uh, it's a good cross. It's not, it's not clear at all. Actually, back down here's where Vredic really comes in. He's already got a little bit of a touch on it. Um, but he can't do enough to keep it out. So we're 1 0 down at the Bernabeu by then. Um, Let's see, he plays the Garcia. Moves forward, looking to go left. Friends Colin Hughes, friends Cameron and Enrique. He's getting up the line, goes back down the road. See, back to Guido. He's in the Colin Hughes, friends down the road. It's a lovely bit of forward to Hughes, he's done. Get on. It's just like a, a, like a little lifted pass down under the Colin Hughes there. It's very well played, let's see him again. Good defenders, but maybe. He was trying to pass and it's deflected up off of the fender. We don't care. Oh, he's a scored. That is the main thing. He's in the in from the corner from Hughes. McAdoo gets up to make the header, but Kirkwood uh, steals it. Kirkwood still can't believe it. He's got his hands on his head and his hands on for quite a long time. McAdoo wins the header, which he can't get the second ball out. Samuel to Samuel, leaves Vinny Jr. He's going very well here to the Samuel of Kovic. And he's back of our village for a minute. And that's how. Samuel to Samuel from Vinny Jr. All the way around. It's a good interception. I can't quite get the second ball. Lovely ball on the ground. And he's going to score. It's one of those. I suppose. Um, he's involved here though. Bummer Katz makes a tackle, doesn't quite get enough on it. The ball comes back to the tune and then the two. Continues his run, he's not picked up. And it's 2-1. Uh, it's demand more. This worked for us last time when we scored. 34 minutes in, McAdoo comes forward, he's in the midfield, plays left to Colin Hughes. It's a, it wasn't even a header, it looked, it looked like it, it bounced off his head. It's a lovely ball, they've been using there. Sam will be saying that, absolutely. Just leaving it completely unmarked and a poor bit of the front and the check out's going to be given. It is given. Um, I didn't see anything about an offside involved there. Sam will be saying you get to draw on the camera finger. He's not looking at all. The goal of this is, is going. And I get to make it 3-1. It's a little bit tighter than first thought. It's Jeff Goodman's plan on. Not good one actually, um, and we get the quick one, it makes it close. And then one, not gonna be particularly this ball, finds Budo. And as Ritchie, there's a lovely ball left to Hughes. There's a big cross into the back post, can't find a ball to catch from, can't find a quick push. Comes again to Vinny Jr., again Samuel Sanders, way out of position, lovely ball. Four in the four half time. Uh, Sam was saying that it just leaves Vinny Jr. Gabbett's yeah, very good header by Gabbett. Garcia should be much tighter to prevent that from happening. Let's do that. Garcia can knock it through. Nice ball, the a nice ball, the quick boots, Danny Rojas is on, we're back in it, it's 4-2, this game is about to get absolutely nuts. It's 4-2 in the 42nd minute, and it's 6-4, Jim Madrid on aggregate currently, it's a nice bit of football there, quick boots, from the catch, the quick boots, the Rojas, and we're back in it. A lot of our players are struggling with fitness. A few of them are struggling with form as well. What was that? Get your act together. Who's not playing well? Uh, Guido, Bumbercats, Garcia, McAdoo, Bissonnier. I can't make five. I can't make those five changes because they're all too defensive. McAdoo's struggling and he's not playing well. <coughs> Guido's not playing well. 
Anna struggling. Bumbercats also not playing well. Anna struggling. Cougars is playing well and Clan Hughes is playing well, but they are struggling. That's two. Clan Hughes with a lovely tackle there. Wins the ball back, finds Guido, finds Bumbercats. Rojas plays it right. Richie's still going. Sandler Richie had an opportunity to give us a bit of hope to try and get us back into it, but he's absolutely ballooned it. Right there. And bring Quinn Zuma at centre back. Sandler was having a start. Stand up. Guido Rodriguez. And if we bring. And shoot that. And here, let's go on down here, let's give him another card. I bring Sharon Duran, I bring him to there. Kugut's playing a very good game, Bumbercats also struggling. Colin Hughes playing midfield. Bumbercats, he's on the Well, we don't have a really good... I bring Dawkins in. We make three subs. One to back, two in midfield. We bring Sam Arucci back into the defensive midfield. Slot, uh, demand more. Let's go, do you know what? Let's go for it. Let's go for it attacking. Uh, fitness, what are we looking at? Garcia's not playing well. Now he is injured. Can't he really needs to come out? And as does. Two coach. Two of them are playing so well, but they're. Under the 60% fitness mark, so I can't, can't expect them to stay on the line. They will need a break in the next game. There is an international break coming up, which I think is my favourite. Good save from Zoro. Uh, let's change up the instructions a little bit. Uh, work a ball into the box. Let's go slightly more direct. Don't worry about passing the space. In transition, let's uh, distribute quickly. Let's push the line up, step up more. Let's give it a go. Do you want more? <clears throat> we used to say after the 1 0 lead we had earlier that this would have happened anyway. Um, so, a little bit disappointing in the manner in which we conceded the goals in the first half. Uh, 4 2 at half time. Uh, really expected more could have happened there. Thankfully, there wasn't any more um, in terms of their attacking. Uh, we've come away with a 4-2 defeat. They were out of the Champions League. Um, unlucky lads. We gave it our best. Wasn't the be. I would like to tell them they were rubbish. But I can't quite do that. It just it, it wouldn't be right. Uh, in the other games. Uh, Man City have drawn with AC Milan. Ajax have beat Liverpool 3-0. Um, Bayern Munich have drawn 2 all with Roma. And I've gone through on aggregate 4-2. And of course ourselves. Uh, losing 6-4 on aggregate. So defeated in the round of 16. Uh, Richie could do with the rest. That's fine. Uh, so that is it for this episode. Apologies that the episode has been a little bit of a, a mess. Um, but luckily we were able to recover it. And play the game without losing too much of the previous information as well. Uh, I do hope you've enjoyed it. As always please like, share, subscribe and comment. We will be back in the next episode. Where we will be taking on the penultimate month of our tenure. We're playing against Newcastle, Leeds, Aston Villa and Watford. We still have a little bit of potentially of a title push. To run through so we're hoping to make some headway in that but we will be back in the next episode until then thank you and take care thanks for watching the video i really hope you've enjoyed it uh, you can check out one of these recommended videos and as always please do like share subscribe and comment it helps us to grow the channel it helps us to bring you more content like this in the future in the meantime i've been corky it's been an absolute pleasure we will see you in the next video thank you take care